Right. Welcome to the beach. Um, I think my last video. Yeah, last video I, I was up in Scotland. Um, today I'm in Wales and I'm at the beach. Uh, pretty certain my last video was um, at um, Bowfiddle Rock up on the Moray Coast. Well, I'm down on, so this is the Great Orm uh, and I'm in Flandidno. So there's the pier. So I'm probably 450 miles from, <laughs> maybe more, or maybe 500 miles from uh, Bowfiddle Rock. So quite a, uh, quite a kind of different location, but kind of still the same sea. So just show you what I'm trying to do. Um, it's Clandidno, for uh, those who don't know, it's seaside, seaside town in North Wales, uh, really well known for kind of people coming, um, having fish and chips, ice cream and arcades and stuff like that. But obviously you can see the pier. Um, and as usual, I was promised clear skies uh, for sunset. Um, just let me check the time. Sunset's in about 50 minutes. Um, but there doesn't seem much chance of there being a clear sky. Um, so what I was going to do, I was going to be on the other side of the pier shooting that way because the sun will be going down over there somewhere. But uh, I don't think that's going to happen. So I've come down, uh, had a wander around and then uh, saw these rocks, tides coming in, saw these rocks, saw the pier and I thought I'd try and take some images. <laughs> I, thought, I thought that was going to get me. So I'd try and take some images uh, of these rocks. So I'll show you what I'm up to. And uh, hopefully it's an explanation. So here we've got, there we go, rocks in the foreground, making up almost actually the, the, the sea and the rocks making up two thirds of the image. And then top third of the image is the pier and the sky. The sky's particularly underwhelming. Um, but what I'm waiting for, just a nice bit of wave action around these rocks and it might make something out of the image um, but uh, I don't know there's lights on the uh, pier but I don't think it's going to be dark enough by, <laughs> for me to get the most of the lights either so see how it goes there's a wave coming in now so just taking an image um, I'm on f11 that's given me an exposure of a quarter of a second ish um, and that will be enough yeah, so I'm just looking at it. I won't show you on the back of the image, uh, on the back of the camera, but when I process the image, uh, I'll, I'll put it in. And it's enough to blur the waves, um, but not turn them into, into mush. Um, I'm hoping for a little bit of colour in the sky. Fingers crossed. A couple of blokes down there fishing. No, if, if, take that one. <laughs> a couple of blokes fishing. If worse comes to worse, I'll... See if I can get some fish from a tea. <laughs> right, see you in a minute. I've moved to a different composition uh, and I'd like to say that's because I had a brainwave, but actually it's because where I was stood before, my feet were starting to get wet because the tide was coming in. <laughs> so um, I've come a little bit similar to the previous one, um, other than I've got some rocks in the foreground, some rocks over here, in, I guess the mid ground, and then the, um, uh, the pier moving from uh, right to left or left to right depending on how you want to look at it so let's have a look at the, the screen nope, go. so there's the rocks in the in the foreground that rock on my rule of thirds and then again the sky and the pier is about the, the ish the top third uh, i'm on f11 i've pre-focused on these rocks and used hyperfocal distance check out my video on hyperfocal distance if you haven't seen it before um, and um, again, similar, wait, just waiting for a nice wave to come in. Uh, so, oh, here, here comes one now, let's. And so F11 has given me a half a second exposure. So that's more than enough to get that movement. Uh, I'm just gonna check what it looks like. Yeah, it's a bit gray. <laughs> you probably can't see it very well. It's a bit gray, uh, but it's a gray day. Um, I might do a bit of jiggery pokery in Lightroom, um, but uh, the promised colour in the clouds um, has not arrived yet. It's still about another 45 minutes till sunset, but it feels like it's already... Oh, here comes a big wave. Let's try that one. 
Now that might be all right because it's quite a big one. I could see kind of it building. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, might be all right. Let's see, see how it goes. <laughs> Why are you looking over there? Um, so might now go up there somewhere um, and try an image looking down on the pier or I might even go on if the pier's open I might even go on the go on the pier so <laughs> I've already got a wet foot don't want two wet feet right stay tuned well, I'll come down onto the pier um, the last time I was on this pier I think the kids were maybe seven and five and they're now 17 and 15 so it's quite a long time ago um, but I've also got to tell you that so hopefully you can see there's a the big building there is called the Grand Hotel uh, and when I was six or seven um, my cousin worked there and we were on holiday in the caravan and we came to Clandidno and we went popped in to the hotel um, to see her um, she was I think she was working in reception but to my six-year-old mind <laughs> she owned the hotel and I was really really impressed I thought blimey she owns this massive building so <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, sorry. Windy, sorry about that. So, um, the forecasted clearer sky has actually arrived, but it's about half and half an hour, 40 minutes too late. Um, so I've come onto the pier and I'm looking back towards the town and been trying to get a composition with kind of the railings leading kind of the eye to the hotel and then a bit of a sweep of the bay. So it'd be a kind of panorama but I'm not, I'll just move around and show you. I'm not, I'm not in love with it. Um, so, so it's, it's quite, you know, it's, <laughs> the sun's down, it's quite dark. Not really in love with it. Um, plus there's, <laughs> when I try and get around there, there's a, this railing uh, gets in the way. But I'm gonna give it a go and That'll be it then, I think, for this evening. So, just gonna want. It's it's um, it's it's quite. You can't tell from here, but the the all those big buildings on the front, the hotels and guest houses and stuff. It's a it's a sweeping bay, and it'd be quite nice to be up on the hill looking down on the bay at this time. But I haven't got time to do that. So, um, maybe on another occasion. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's going to rain as well, so, but just do that and then I'm probably done. <laughs> so, not even going to look at those, um, but I'll put them in, I'll, I'll, I'll process it and put it in. So, uh, <laughs> good memories of Flandin though, but uh, kind of not the greatest spectacle for photography. So, it's probably it. Uh, Hope you've enjoyed the trip to the seaside. I'll get you some candy floss on the way back. <laughs> so um, thanks for watching. Thumbs up and comments, always welcome. And thanks, I should say, thanks to all the new subscribers. I'm, I, I, the kind of last count, I was at 860 odd or something. So uh, thanks for that. And I'm going to record a film in the next few days, uh, which will be a giveaway um, because I've, I've been approached by a company to try a product and rather than it be me receiving the product i'm going to kind of create the product and then give it away at the end of the film so keep an eye out for that one and uh, i'll see you soon cheers bye mm -hmm.